Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews. Today, we're going to be talking about this. Okay, if you like what you see, please, as usual, give it a subscribe, give it a share, give it a like if you can. Um, okay, here we go. It's destruction time. Okay, here we go. Rampage, Bradley Payton's new movie with The Rock after they did Central Intelligence together. Um, basically, it's a adaptation of a 80s video game. It's not in any way an adaptation, apart from it having um, a gorilla and some buildings. There's literally nothing else it has to do with that game. But anyway, so there's a gorilla called George um, who's looked after by The Rock. I'm not even sure what he does in the movie, to be honest. I'm kind of like animal expert, maybe. Who knows? Um, and then there's this uh, space station. Something goes wrong in the space station. They, 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 some canister lands on Earth, and of course, there's a gas in the canister that, if animals get anywhere near it, it makes them big and it makes them mad. There you go. Uh, this happens to George, obviously, and to a uh, crocodile and to a big wolf. And then, of course, it's up to the rock and some other people. Jeffrey D. Morgan's in it, uh, Naomi Harris is in it to take down the bad guys who are like this evil corp and save George. Fuck the other two monsters. That's like the sad thing, isn't it? What about the other two monsters? They're like nice monsters anyway. You know what? It's actually not half bad. And the reason why is it's extremely basic. Unlike the shit fest that San Andreas was where they make the whole drama about The Rock saving his family and his wife and everything, forcing him to actually do some dramatic acting. He can't do that. He's not an actor. He's a terrible actor. He's got some decent comic chops occasionally, but you can't ask him to act. You've got to pare it all down. Not dissimilar to Taken. The film's got like 10 minutes of exposition at the beginning, then it's like, you know, 80 minutes of destruction and like two minutes of a joke at the end. And that actually works in its favour. It's the best standalone thing The Rock has done thus far, in my opinion, without any doubt whatsoever. Okay, there it is. Um, if you like that, give it a subscribe. Give it a share, give it a like if you can. Um, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.